guys so let's start the customization so as you can see i am in manjaro linux right now so the first thing that i will do is go to the browser and download the project file and you can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video and thank you so much guys for getting the membership i really really appreciate it so let's just quickly click on download all right guys now i can close the browser and then go to file manager and then here go to downloads and this is our project file so i'm going to quickly extract it all right guys so once i've extracted it Alright guys, so this is our project file, so go and set the project file and here click on this commands file. So just to open it up and here I have a bunch of commands that you use to install all the necessary applications to make the customization happen. So let's go ahead and quickly open a terminal and here let's just run all these commands one by one. Now this might take a while to finish all the installation. Alright guys, so I am done installing all the applications. Now don't worry guys if you find some error while installing the applications and just proceed with the customization and, and it will work as we go through the customization. So alright guys, so the next thing that I will do is open a new window go to home directory and then go to views and then click on show hidden files and here what I'm going to do is go to dot config and here I will drag and drop all of these files here All right. Apply the action to all files and folders. Click on replace. Okay. Now once I've done that, next I will go to the home directory again and then I'll go to pictures. And here I'll drag and drop all of the wallpapers inside the pictures directory. Alright guys, so I'm done with the basic steps, so let's just go ahead and restart the computer and I will see you in the login screen. Alright guys, so here at the login screen, click on this button here. Click on Hyperland and then type your password and click on login. Alright guys, so as you can see that I'm in Hyperland right now and I have logged into Hyperland and first of all what I'm going to do is check if Rofi is working and if it is not then go to dot config and then go to Rofi and then here go to launchers and then here go to launchers and then go to type 4 and then right click on the menu.sh and go to permissions properties and then permissions and then make sure that this is selected allow executing as program and I'll do the same for the other one as well and once I've done that let's go to dot config again and then go to waybar and then I'll do the same here as well right click on all of these dot sh files and go to properties and then go to permissions and then select it as executable
all right guys now let's go to the project file and then open up the gtk theme document and here i have a gtk gtk theme link so open it up on your browser and then just click on code and then click on download zip now once you have downloaded the gtk theme go to your downloads directory and then quickly extract it all right guys so once you have extracted the theme now open up a terminal and then just copy and paste these commands one by one and remember guys you have to be inside the downloads directly from your terminal before you run these commands all right guys so as you can see that i have successfully installed the gtk themes now let's go to the project file again and then go to commands and now i'm going to fix the terminal and make it look more clean so at the bottom of the commands documentations you will find these lines of commands just copy and paste this and just now if i close the terminal and open the terminal again you will see that it has this clean look Now let's go to dot config again and then go to fish and from your project file just drag and drop the fish prompt dot fish inside the fish folder inside the functions folder from fish and now i'm going to just customize the file explorer just trying to make it a little bit clean and minimal looking Alright, so I'm done customizing the file explorer. Alright guys, now I'm going to show you how to customize your browser, the Firefox, and make it look more clean. So go to settings, add-ons and themes, and then search for one dark. And scroll down and actually I'm not looking for this one so I'm going to be installing this one minimalist one dark click on add Alright guys, now here you can see that the background is white and I want to have a different color palette for this. So go to settings and then go to customs and then click on manage colors. And here you can change the color, the text, the color of the text uh, or unvisited links, visited links. You can change it to whatever you like. So I'm going to pick these colors. And for the background, I'm going to apply this color. You can just pause the video and copy paste the color, the HTML color code. So you can pause the video and just All right, so I'm going to make it vertical tabs.
now click on more tools and then customize toolbar so from here you can customize the toolbar to your preferences and i want to have a minimal look for the firefox as well so i'm going to hide the top bar basically not hide actually just make it look more clean Alright guys, so as you can see that this is looking pretty clean and I'm going to hide the shortcuts as well. So click on this settings icon and just deselect the shortcuts toggle. Alright guys, so let's change the wallpaper using wallpaper and it has this nice animation for the changing of the wallpapers so let's go ahead and install u so i'm going to use this for the widgets And now I'm going to change the icons. So using this command and I'll put the link inside the project file, the themes link, just go ahead and download the theme pack. And these are the links. All right. Now go to your terminal and then go to downloads and then just repeat these commands first of all unzip it all right so once i've done that so i've downloaded another icon pack which i'm going to unzip as well Alright, so once I've unzipped all of these zip files, I'm going to move them to the themes directory using this command. And actually, I have moved it to the wrong directory. So I'm going to move it to the correct directory by typing this command again. And finally use this command to change the icons and as you can see that the icons are changed and it is looking pretty neat and clean and finally you can go to the config for dot config folder the directory and then go to hyperland and then hyperland configuration file and from here we can make the windows as show up as tiling windows just hide this line and you have tiling windows now so if you want tiling windows you can do that or if you want stacked windows which wanna give you which wanna be gonna going to be by default for this customization and you can change the gap between the tiling windows as well so can change the gap ins for the in between gaps of the windows or gaps out for the outside gap and that is it guys this is it thank you for watching i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to give it a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video